I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to Kenya School of Tibet. The ILO is the UN agency for the world of work, and so for us, skills are very important because what is it that we use at the workplace? We do need skills. I'm really honored to join you this afternoon at the official uh, opening of the National Skills Competition and Innovation um, Week organized under the auspices of World Skills Kenya. We are going to have the cybersecurity and information technology network coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, let's celebrate them. As Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and other industry, uh, is that we are very happy to uh, partner. Uh, with this World Skills competition, and when the director came to us, I uh, was we very, uh, very pleased because we are solving one problem. As the tradition of World Skills um, competition, it is normally uh, it, it has three key components. One is the exhibition and innovation, which we have gone round and we have seen what our various partners, both institution and industry, has to offer. The second is the conference, which will be running uh, in the next three days, and the actual competition, which will also be running in the next three days. As a country, we are on the right track in promoting skills amongst our youth. For instance, we participated in World Skills Africa competition in Namibia, where our team performed exemplary by winning a gold medal and a bronze in our inaugural participation. World Skills Kenya was formed to ensure our country was admitted to the global skills body. It was later tasked with a specific mandate to organize skills competitions aimed at improving skills excellence among the youth. This was to be done through organizing a national skills competition and participating in regional and global competitions where our skilled youth would compete and showcase their skills. I'm very happy to officiate this world skill competition and uh, I'm happy to see the kind of skills and competence being demonstrated by our students and also the participants from 13 different institutions. This is uh, a world skill on mechatronic systems on automation and this is the kind of skills and competencies that are required by the industry to automate, to run uh, assembly lines, to run uh, packaging lines and uh, power plants. And uh, the, the students are uh, demonstrating competencies that are required in the industry. As a university of technology, the Dunkemath University of Technology is very happy to host this function and uh, use our equipment and facilities to train 
and also demonstrate competence that is required by the industry. This is coming at a very good time when the university is building an entrepreneurial ecosystem for enabling uh, researchers and students to develop uh, the innovations and also develop enterprises. And uh, when with this kind of skills and competencies, this is a very good platform for encouraging entrepreneurial thinking because uh, the skills they are demonstrating are ready for use in the market. They are also ready for use in the world of work. And I, as a university of technology, this is a moment we are very proud to see the kind of knowledge being very clearly demonstrated to what the industry requires. So we are happy to host all these different, that we have 13 teams already in this competition, and uh, we hope that uh, we will get champions that will go all the way to the world stage competition and uh, win trophies based on the competence that they have run in this great university. We know a TV institution doesn't have enough equipment. What we are trying to do, we are trying to see whether they can use uh, the system we developed by using the, taking advantage or opportunity of digitalization and see whether they can use the machine or the facilities at the Dedan Kimadi University to be able to access or to program uh, via virtual reality, Internet of Things, and uh, other uh, technologies.